Hello and we are live. Today uh, we have um, breathing exercises, pranayama. We're going to do three different uh, breathing exercises. Um, we'll do um, just normal belly breathing, uh, long deep breathing, so using the whole lungs, belly, chest and collarbones. And um, lastly we have a dog breath. So um, maybe we can start with tuning in like we normally do. And if you don't know the words, you can also just listen. It's Om Namo Gurudev Namo. And we sing it three times on the exhale. So rub your hands. And place your thumbs against your chest bone. Close your eyes. Look at your third eye point, which is a point in between your eyebrows. And take a deep breath in. All the way out. Deep breath in. All the way out. And in to again. Om Namo your breath in a relaxed way, relaxing your face, your shoulders, and exhale, and slowly open your eyes and take down your hands. So we're going to start with just a belly breath, and um, it might seem like a easy exercise, but for some people it can be quite uh, challenging. So just see how it is for you. And if you need more practice, then that's, that's fine as well. So we put our hands on our belly, maybe a little bit to the sides and, and low, just the fingertips under the, the navel. Just feel first if there's any movement there at all when you just breathe normally. Relax your shoulders, let your elbows hang down. And maybe you feel your belly going in on the exhale, navel coming in and up. On the inhale, your belly gets bigger. And if not, this means you have um, probably have reverse breathing where you breathe the other way around, or maybe you're all up here and nothing in the belly. So there's nothing wrong or, or, or right, right, but it's really. Um, natural way to breathe with your belly it can be really relaxing so that's why we're going to practice that and uh, so practice now for three minutes hold your hands on your belly and feel when you breathe in feel yourself breathing towards your hands making your belly bigger on the exhale your belly becomes smaller 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 on the inhale your belly gets wider, like a balloon, and the exhale gets smaller. And also feel you're not only breathing to the front, it's not only movement in this direction, but also to the sides. Basically the breath, uh, the diaphragmatic breath, the, the belly breath is 360 degrees. So continue in your own pace.
And when you feel like you master it a little bit, you can on the exhale, on the very bit of the last bit of the exhale, you pull in your navel. So the last bit is active, you're pulling in the navel, and then you will release the last bit of air in the lungs. Relax your belly, it's easier when you relax it. And make sure you're still sitting up straight, shoulders relaxed, chest upright, not collapsing in the chest on the exhale. And then inhale, hold, exhale, and relax. Okay, just sit for a moment, feel the effect of this exercise. So like I said, the belly breathing is um, very calming breathing um, breath and uh, it's also uh, very natural. So we're supposed to breathe like this. Look at uh, young children and you will see how we're supposed to breathe. So now we have the long deep breathing. So this time you can place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Make sure you don't pull up your shoulders. And we're going to breathe first with the belly just like we did just now. So you inhale and make your belly bigger by breathing. And then the chest. And then exhale and let everything go back. And when you master this, you can try and also raise the collarbones up to the front and up, and exhale, everything going back. Inhale, belly, chest. Exhale, everything back to standing position. Inhale, belly, chest. Collarbones, exhale, letting everything go back. So continue in your own pace. I'm going to do this as well for three minutes. Try and fill your lungs completely, all the way in all the way out. Filling every corner of the lungs. And don't forget that your lungs are not only in the front. So also breathe to your back, breathe to your sides.
if you know this breath, if you've been doing it before, you can also try and go inhale, belly, chest, chest and the collarbones. And then exhale, you let the collarbones go, then the chest, and at last the belly. Inhale, belly, chest, collarbones. And then exhale, collarbones, chest, belly. This can, of course, also be done lying down on your back. One more time. And take a deep breath in now. And exhale. Let's feel the effect of this breathing. Maybe also notice if your breath has changed in any way. It might be that you feel like your breath is calmer or slower. Or maybe you feel like you have more air. That you can breathe in more air. And now that I, um, first I want to say a few words about the long deep breathing. Uh, so it's also very calming, uh, but it has a very long list of effects. So um, see if I can mention a few. It's uh, good for speeding up emotional, physical healing. It's in fighting addictions. Uh, gives capacity to manage negative emotions. And it prevents the build up of toxins in the lungs. It increases the flow of prana, which is our life energy, and then many more. And this is also breathing that we very often do in the yoga, the yoga exercises, the Kundalini yoga exercises. Uh, so when you hear the word long deep breathing, then that's, this is what I mean. Okay, so now that I slowed you down, I want to wake you up. So we're going to do um, a dog breath, sometimes also called lion breath, which is really good for your, your immune system. So I'm going to stick out our tongue all the way like this. So really stretch it out as, as far as you can. 
There we go. We're going to uh, pant like a dog. So breathe through your mouth from really the back of your tongue. Like this. I'm seeing that I'm moving my belly as well. So I'm really using my diaphragm and my navel to, to get the breath out and to get it from the throat and from the back of the tongue. So make the um, uh, movement come from here. And we're just going to pant like a dog for three minutes. The panting is rapidly, fast and deep, putting power into it. If you get dizzy, then you can take a break and just be normal for a little while. If it's no, normal with this exercise, feel a little tingling, maybe in your feet, maybe in your hands. Now for the last one and a half minute, try to make the sounds become more guttural, so really from the back of your throat. If you get dizzy, it also can help just to slow it down, do more powerful, long breaths. Ten more seconds. Really stretch your tongue completely. Press your tongue against the palate of your mouth and breathe in and hold. And exhale, relax breathing. And just let your breathing come back to normal. Maybe you feel your body tingling and waking up. So this was the dog breath or lion breath. Um, I'm going to say a few words about that. It will help you clear your body and throat chakra of toxins. It's very good for your immune system for against viruses. It also helps to super oxygenate your blood if you're feeling run down. 
as well as open up areas of your brain to increase intuition. It will help you clear out old lies and fears and leave you with speaking uh, your truth. So you can do this exercise three minutes or just for um, for just for an, an amount of um, uh, breaths, like for example, 23. And you can do it uh, in the beginning of the day or end of the day. So these were the three pranayama exercises I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, let me know how it was for you. Leave a comment on this video. And let's uh, tune out. So rub your hands. Place your hands against your chest bone. And let's tune out with satnam. Long, sat, and short now. Sing it three times on the exhale. Close your eyes. Look at your third eye point, the point in between your eyebrows. Take a deep breath in. And out. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale all the way. To begin, sa Enjoy this feeling. Take your hands up to your third eye, to your heart, and let's bow. Satnam, thank you very much for watching. Um, see you next time.